So you think that circulator pump is dead? Well hang on there a minute because I've got a quick fix that could get that pump up and running in no time. So when you have a circulator pump like you see here, one of the problems is sometimes they just stop working. So you have to diagnose your heating system yourself, but if you've gotten down to the point where you think it's the circulator, I'm going to show you a quick way to solve the problem. Because most often, these pumps don't really die. They freeze up, they seize up, and they just stop moving water. Alright, so let's get started. So the pump I'm showing you is a Taco pump. This is the most common pump in the US, and actually might be in the world. But you can use this as a guide if your pump is slightly different. The principles remain the same. So the first thing you need to do, shut the electricity off to your boiler. Second thing you need to do is to drain the water from your boiler. Now that might sound like a big deal, and there's other videos that can help you do that. And it is kind of a big deal if you don't know what you're doing. Third thing you're going to do is you need to get one tool, a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. Yours might not be this size, but that is the world's most common size for these pumps. So as you can see here, what I'm doing now is each of these pumps has four bolts. And once the water's out of your system and the power is off, you're going to unscrew each of these four bolts. It might take a little bit of effort, and you're going to want to use the short end of your wrench because you're going to need some leverage. And again, the pump I'm showing you here obviously is not mounted on your system because I want to give you better visibility. But you're going to continue. Take each of the four screws out. It's not that hard. If they're very rusted, you might have some issues getting them out. You could use some WD-40 or another kind of oil. But generally, if you get a good solid fitting on there with your tool, they're going to come out. Okay, so now we've got the screws coming out. You're going to want to have a towel around because even if you've drained the water, there's probably still going to be some more in there. So once that happens, what you want to do is wiggle the motor back and forth a little bit. And it's going to take a little bit of effort, but you will be able to pull it straight out. This is important. The housing that it came out of, the motor I mean, you're going to see that there's an O-ring or some sort of seal here. You're going to want to make sure that this is in pretty good shape. If it's torn or really damaged, you're probably going to have some issues. But generally, they're going to come out okay and you can reuse them as is. This is the motor, and you can see the impeller up the top. That's the part on the end of the motor there. If you go to spin this and it spins freely, then your motor's not seized, and this isn't your problem. But like mine here, it's stuck. So what you want to do is wiggle this back and forth just like I'm doing. It shouldn't take a great deal of force, but don't be shocked if it's pretty well frozen up. So you're going to twist it back and forth and push and push, and then eventually, hopefully, like that, it's going to free up. And once you do that, I'd still recommend spinning it back and forth. Make sure it's, um, you know, if you have little crunchies in there or noise, that you're going to be able to have that thing spin free. So this one actually spun up just fine. I knew this one froze when I took it out, and I kept it aside so that I could work on it later. I'm going to use this one as a spare since it's already out, but if I was in an emergency, I could reinstall this, and I'd probably be just fine for a while. It should be noted, too, that this really should be a temporary measure, just to get you through the night or get you through the week. But I do know some people have done this and gone on for years, because a lot of times the pumps really are not damaged at all. They've just got debris in there. So it's up to you how long you're going to keep it, but I wouldn't recommend going too long. But if it gets your heat back up and running, then all the better. Okay, so now that our road is freed up, what we've got to do is reverse the steps. So in this case here, I'm just going to put my four screws back in, and I'm going to get my Allen wrench, and what I'm going to do is start tightening them up. I'd recommend tightening them individually and um, somewhat lightly, and then at the very end, you're going to use your tool and really snug them up pretty tight. Again, these do need to be fairly tight, but don't break the heads off it or you're going to have more problems. So we're snugging up these bolts, giving them one last turn to make sure they're very tight. And then we'll be ready to do the final check and see how this worked. Okay, so things are looking good here. Everything seems tight, looks clean to me. Now we're ready basically to reverse the steps and get your system back online. So the biggest thing you're going to need to do is obviously your electricity was off, and you've got your water off, and your water feed is off. So what I recommend is your power should be the last thing you turn on because obviously you've got to fill your boiler with water and make sure that's ready to go before you put the power on. So they say desperate times call for desperate measures which is why I'm sharing this with you. If you've got no heat this is probably a pretty good thing to check if you think your circulator pump is dead but you need to know your limits and you also need to understand that you could get into more trouble than it's worth for you. So make sure you know what you're doing. But this is generally a pretty easy thing to do and to fix. 
Biggest thing is making sure that electricity is off and your water is out and then just reversing the directions and you should be back online. Turn your system back on, make sure the air is out of your system, and hopefully you've got heat back on and maybe this was a help.